Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today I fancy a pour over. I want a pour over. But no, I don't want to use any of my uh, equipment. I've got uh, I've got few uh, pour over equipments, but they are all boring. I want something new. So that's why I've ordered this. Well, it's not really new, new, it's been around for ages, but I've never used that before, so that's the Kalita Brewer. Uh, I thought maybe today we could, we could actually experiment with this one. I, I've seen it in many coffee shops, you can get it in different, uh, made out of different materials. This one is made out of glass, you can get a metal one, you can uh, get one uh, made out of ceramic things. This one was the cheapest, so I found it on... Uh, uh, on Amazon for like 20 something pounds, so I thought why not, why not today, so we're going to play with this one uh, No point really doing any any special unboxing you just open it You've got the cards with some uh, Like a, I guess recipes on that and then you've got the the brewer itself. It's actually bigger than I was expecting. It's uh, two to four cups. There's also the one that it's smaller and it is for one or two cups. So made out of glass, kind of a, on a thin side. I wouldn't like to drop this one. And then at the bottom, if you can see, there are what? Three holes. So there are different Kalitas, some of them they got like a groove, some of them they got holes. So this one got like a three holes at the glass bottom. You put it on the top of the cup of the carafe and you brew. You also need some filters, so I bought the, the, the filters, the correct size filters made by uh, Kalita. I will put all the links in the description if you want to buy someone this kind of inexpensive maybe Christmas present, why not? I've got very similar filters uh, for my Gabi Drip Master but I wanted to use the original uh, uh, Kalita uh, filters just to see, just to see how they work. So <laughs> unboxing is done <laughs> very quickly. Uh, well it's, it's just a brewer, yeah there's no, nothing fancy inside there. So let's let's pull let's pour a coffee and let's see let's see what we can get. Now there are, um, there are thousands of recipes and by the way guys you are more than welcome please uh, put some of your favorite Kalita recipes down uh, there. Uh, I will read all of them. Maybe we will maybe I will steal some of that from you. I will put 15 grams of coffee. 250 grams of water. Why 250? Because it will be easy to, to calculate the recipe. Uh, first I will put 50 grams of water after I obviously I rinse the papers and everything that we, that we normally do and I will bloom for let's say a minute. Uh, why not? Then I will put another 50 grams of water, wait 20 seconds, another 50, another 50 and so on until I get uh, a cup of, of coffee. I'm going to use again one more time that Horsham coffee roaster uh, coffee from Ethiopia, natural anaerobically processed coffee with the flavor notes of um, kind of tropical but also Earl Grey tea and lemongrass. And we need to grind the coffee so today we will once more play with my K Ultra. Nobody uses K Max anymore because it's so last year. We coffee geeks, we have to use whatever new equipment uh, there is. I have no idea about the settings, never tried this brew method, so I, I will guess. I will guess it will be number seven on my uh, K Ultra, which probably will be like number uh, eight on the K Max. Temperature of water from my uh, Brewista kettle uh, 98 degrees Celsius. If, by the way, you're as excited as myself, definitely click like and consider subscribing to the channel. Now the coffee in. I changed the grind settings. The previous one was clogging the filters. 50 grams of blooming. And now another 50 grams.
I, I've got a cup of, of coffee. Unfortunately, I tried a few times. It was clogging and clogging and clogging. Something I'm doing wrong. Hopefully you will be able to help me. I moved to setting number 8.5 and it's still clogging the filter. So, so far I'm not happy with my uh, attempts on a uh, Kalita. I'm sure something can be improved. Maybe the recipe, maybe something else. But anyway, let's, let's taste what I've got. Smells nice, sweet and citrusy. Cheers. I'm getting some of the lemon tea but I wouldn't call it my favorite cup and I know this coffee's got a huge potential so definitely I will need your help with that. In your comments you can you can share your recipes uh, maybe some clues what can I do to improve the especially the the process because it's it's clogging and clogging I don't have 10 minutes to wait for <laughs> for my cup to finish. You know, now that it cooled down a little bit, I can actually taste some pineapple flavors. This coffee is difficult to, to mess up. So, yeah, yeah, I'm actually changing my mind now. I'm, I'm thinking, at the beginning I thought it's terrible, now then it was kind of okay-ish. Now it cooled down a bit, I can, I can actually taste the nuances, so... So yeah, but definitely share your recipes and maybe you can help me to extract more flavors. But for today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack, this is my coffee show and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you, bye!